So you're getting a brand new MacBook or maybe you already got one and now you're wondering what are some accessories that are gonna make life a lot easier and could even save you money? Well, today I'm gonna share the ones that we use and that actually make a lot of sense. I'm gonna skip things like mice and random stuff like that that are very obvious. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is this little guy that I have been using now for about a year. Even though a Max can come with up to 140 watt chargers, this thing is so much smaller. And instead of having just a single USB plug, this has two of them and a high powered USB type A. So it folds down super small and it is just a lot more convenient. Now, now, some of the less expensive MacBooks actually don't come with fast charging. So if you buy them, you're not gonna get that. So by buying one of these, and right now you can get this thing on sale for only 65 bucks, you're not only gonna have something more compact, but a lot more capable. Now this next one is from our partner Opal with their new Tadpole. This webcam is like nothing else on the market because it's so tiny and easy to take with you. The design is ingenious, easily clipping onto your Mac so you can use it in seconds, and it even has a mute button built into the connector. It uses a 4K sensor so you get better video quality, but the crazy thing is the audio is amazing because it literally only picks up what it sees like a professional microphone. I made a full video on it, and right now you can get 15% off your order using link below and using your code MAXTECH15. Next, we need to talk about SSD because I hope you did not pay Apple's ridiculous prices for their storage. Now this one right here is a Sabrent. Um, this is a Thunderbolt version. And the cool thing about it is that it supports Thunderbolt speeds along with USB type C so you can connect it to another computer and it just works. It is ridiculously fast and mine has a four terabyte capacity with it. Um, so I've been using this thing for a couple of years and it is amazing. Now with that, we also have the Rocket. You guys can see how incredibly tiny this little guy is right here. And for 99 bucks, you get one terabyte of storage, whereas Apple charges $200 to go from 512 to one terabyte. So you're really paying $200 for 512 gigs. Now with that, a two terabyte costs you 169. Apple charges $600 hundred dollars and then for 349 you can get a four terabyte in this tiny size now apple will charge you a thousand bucks if you have a mac that already has one terabyte and you can only do that if you buy an m3 max chip now and that is just absolutely insane now if you want to have thunderbolt speeds instead of the highest speed usb uh, you can actually pay a little bit more for the one terabyte to get that, but I think most people don't need it. And the thing that I love about having something that's external along with my Mac, um, yes, you do have to plug it in, so it's something extra even though it's so small, but you can use this on multiple devices. So if you have an old machine, a friend's machine, or you're gonna upgrade and, and later, you keep it. It's not just tied to the system where you pay a ton of money and then all that money goes away because you're not gonna get that in resale. And now we have to talk about dongles because these Macs don't have USB type A ports and you are gonna run into needing one. Now you could spend, I don't know what they charge, about 20 bucks for one of these guys that I bought a long time ago, but I would say it'd be better to buy something a little bit larger but more capable. Now one of these is only 15 bucks and it gives you four USB type A ports. And the cool thing is they are 10 gigabit per second, not five, so it's double the speed and I think that is way more handy now you can spend a little bit more like 30 bucks and get a few more features or you can spend a little bit more than that and get a high-powered one with much more connections like micro SD SD Ethernet um, and you know pass through charging stuff like that but I think for most people even the $15 one is plenty to take with you now the next one that has been awesome especially if you use a laptop on the go is a power bank 
Inc. Now there's so many different options out there, but I love this one. We recently went to New York, I took it with me. And the thing I love about this one is that it is very, very fast. So as far as the charging speed, you can charge a 16 inch MacBook from zero to 50% in 40 minutes from this guy right here. And the cool thing is that it also accepts 100 watt input. So this thing itself doesn't take four, six, eight hours like some of the cheaper ones to charge. It charges really, really quick. It also has a regular USB type A port, two USB type C's, and it has one of these barrel plugs. And on the front, you also have a display. So that will show you your charging speed for the power bank. Um, and it'll show you how much output is going to a machine. And I've actually used that for testing here on the channel. And then you have customizations that you could do inside of it. It has a heart, really large capacity, almost a max that you can put onto an airplane, high quality. And right now they do have a $40 off coupon code. So this thing is incredible. You could buy something slow and cheap, but I think it's better to spend a little bit more money and get something that is more powerful and that is going to last. If you spend a lot of money on a MacBook, I think it should be used as a dual purpose with a desktop setup. And that is how I use my MacBook. So with that, the first thing that's a great investment is a nice stand to take up less room and to make sure you have great airflow. Now this one is from 12 South, it is their Arc. I've had this thing for years and you can swap out the insert for different size MacBooks. And then if you are a power user like I am, you will need a dock. Now I have used a bunch of them and the Ivanki that I've set up on my desk is by far the best one if you need to have higher performance. This thing beats out everything else on the market because it uses two of your Thunderbolt ports, both of them on the left hand side. And that means that you get enough bandwidth for all of those ports with no slowdowns. Other ones on the market have less ports. And even then, if you're using all of them, you are gonna get slowdowns. I've literally gotten disconnections because I had so much stuff plugged in. Now with those ports, you have a ton of them. You have an SD card reader, a micro SD card reader, which I use all the time, and you get a bunch of extra Thunderbolt ports so you're not just wasting the ones on your machine and I have a lot of them filled up. You also have the fastest USB type C ports as well and because of the unique design this thing stays super cool. The coolest dock on the market which the other ones I've used got insanely hot. Now if that is too powerful for you I also love this one from OWC. It is affordable and it takes one Thunderbolt 4 port and it gives you three three more of them without any slowdowns, as well as one very fast USB type A port, which is very handy to have. And then of course, it also charges your MacBook as well. So if you don't need a high end dock, giving you one of these allows you to plug in your display, different accessories, maybe an SSD, whatever else. And then with one cable, bam, you're connected and you are set up. Now you should also have a way to protect your MacBook. This sleeve right here is from Moft. It actually has an expansion section where you can store accessories. You can put a card with a pocket on the inside and it actually folds up so you can use it as a stand with various angles. So this thing is nice and slim. It is great if you don't wanna have a big bag. And if you don't wanna have some like a sleeve set up, Vadim really loves this Andar, which actually clips on. It's genuine leather, super super high quality, it just stays on your MacBook because these Macs are made out of aluminum and all these edges can get dinged up pretty easily. It can get scratched up if you have one of the new um, black colors. So that's, some, that's a nice way to be able to just protect your device. So you guys let me know what other accessories are really worth it for your new MacBook down in the comments section below. Go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe. Check out one of those videos right over there. This has been Max and I'll see you in the next one.